Okay, I was making a test <clears throat> on a Swedish site, and uh, in the test, I could see that the uh, certainty based marking was working if I had English, but if I chose Swedish, I could see that uh, it wasn't working right. And I recognized this code here is a, a symbol that should be written in a certain way so that it gets proper things from the programming of the question type and it didn't wasn't working here so it's there must be something wrong with the Swedish translation of the string there so it doesn't get the right response which should look something like like this which works properly in English you've got the choices for the different certainties that you could choose for this question and I saw also that the description of what CBM means had used another thing that's called uh, curriculum-based measuring instead. So that wasn't right either. So I'm going to try and find where this string is. And I know it's been a problem before, and so I put into the Google Docs how you can find the string. So I went back to Google, Google Docs to find what the documentation is there. So I searched on Google and came to the Google Docs, the language FAQ page, and I went to the 2.8 version, which is the version I'm using, the latest one at this time, in 2015. And I searched on the page for uh, find, and I can see here what I was looking for. How can I find where a language string is located? It says, go to uh, administration, site administration, development, debugging. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I go to my site and choose site administration. And go down to what was it? Development, I think. Let's see. Uh, site administration, development, debugging. Okay. Development, debugging, and then I choose show origin of language strings, and I put a check mark there. And then I'll go back to the test where I was having my problem. I almost forgot that I have to save my changes. Some pages you, you just make your change and it's already saved, but this one is one of the ones where you have to save it also. Now I've gone back to the page where I had the test that wasn't displaying properly. And according to the FAQ, I'm supposed to put at the end of the URL here, this thing, question mark strings equals one, and see what happens then. Hmm. I don't see anything happening. It also said that if that doesn't work, I can use ampersand strings one okay same thing but without the question mark but with a ampersand we'll see if that works better uh, dun, 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 now okay now we see here you've got this name here okay how certain are your QB behavior deferred CBM? Okay, that's what I'm going to be looking for. So, I think I'll copy that and just paste it somewhere so I can find it. Um, I'll just 
put it in, in a document I happen to have open in case I forget what it was. Go back to my browser and all right, now I'm going to go to site administrator. I'll change to English so everybody can see what I'm choosing. Um, go to uh, course administration, quiz administration, my course is site administration, uh, language, language customization, and I want to choose my Swedish language pack and open that for editing. And uh, okay, continue. And let's see, what did I want to find? I want to find uh, let's see, Q behavior determined. Let's see, wait a second, Q behavior. Deferred CBM. There's with the one I was looking for. I'm going to take that one and I got that one. All right. Yeah. Certainty in an army. Okay, I think I'd like to change these ones too a little bit, but that's not the one that's making the problem, I don't think. I think it is um, probably... Just a moment. It was, how certain are you? Let's see. Why do we have that? House, there it is. Okay, now I see the problem here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, this is the English phrase here, and this is the uh, attempt to and translate it and you see that these code strings are written a bit differently so we're going to have to copy that one put it in here and uh, leave those code things as they were and I'll put in the Swedish trans your sake here there do. Okay, that the Swedish was translated okay, but the code placeholder was was changed, so that's why it wasn't working. So now I've found my string, I've changed it, and I think I'll do some other polishing up before I leave here and go to check what happened. Okay, now I've changed uh, 21 of the strings there in that package. So now I'm clicked on the save, and they want to make sure that I want to save it. And I click continue. And now these strings will be saved locally on my computer, or on my server, actually, in connection with this course. And we'll see what happens. Um, okay, if I go back... 
to the test that I had and uh, see what we've got here. It's um, okay. I'm in the English. I don't see my language chooser. I might have to zoom out a bit. Okay. I choose Swedish and I was hold cross my fingers and see what happens. Yes! There I have it. Swedish and the code is working. I can choose different different confidence levels. So that's what I wanted to do right now. And of course it would be good if I were to try and put this into the standard Swedish language pack so everybody could use them. But that'll be something to do on another day.